How to work a collar with the coconuts method. I'm going to show you how you incorporate this collar into a seamless cardigan so that you knit this as you go. The, it's written into the instructions. The pattern tells you how to do this, but it's hard to visualize. So I'm going to try and give you a visual of how you're going to work this area here um, with the upper back and the back collar works into the shoulders and down the fronts. This is the Lizzie cardigan, and then this is the Kiki cardigan. Completely different stitch pattern, but it's the same method. So you're still going to start with the back, get that back neck done, and then integrate it into the shoulders and the fronts, and it becomes seamless all the way down. It's hard to visualize, so I'm gonna show you how to get this set up and how to get it started. So the first thing you're gonna do is the upper back, section one. So you're going to cast on and then you're going to increase at each edge and it's going to give you those little slopes which will then become your shoulders. So as you would wear it, your initial cast on becomes your back neck right up there and that makes each of those slopes a shoulder. So then the next thing the instructions are going to tell you is to uh, prep the right collar. So it's going to tell you to do a provisional cast on and knit that little section of the back neck. You don't have to do a provisional cast on. I didn't. I just cast on and knit it. But if what so what's going to happen is I if you don't do the provisional cast on, you're going to have to do a little seam there. It's not a huge deal. It's not a real long seam. It's not unusual to see a seam up the back neck if the provisional cast on is just more than you want to mess with. It's not a problem to just cast on and knit as instructed to prep the right collar. And then once you've done that, which I have here, put it so the, or hold it, lay it out so the right side is facing up. And then you get your back section with the right side facing up. And you can see how it's going to run along the back of your neck over toward the right edge. Then you'll pick up those stitches for the right shoulder and integrate the collar stitches. So to help you visualize this, uh, what you can do is again lay it out with right sides facing up on both pieces. And then you can just clip it so that you can see what's going on. So that's going to be a seam right there once we're all done. So just clip it and then it is right where it needs to be as you come across and pick up stitches and integrate that collar. It'll stay right where it needs to be. So the collar stitches are on a holder and now you're going to pick up and knit the right shoulder stitches. And this is written into your pattern. So it the, your pattern is going to tell you how many stitches to pick up along your right shoulder. So we've got a video for this pick up and knit. I usually, they're, you know, they're not stitches. They're those, those funny ladders. So I usually pick up three and then skip the fourth and then we'll knit across them. I like to knit my whole sweater on one long needle. So I'm going to use my right working needle to knit across these stitches. And again, you can watch the video for more detail on how to do this, but knit across again, because I skipped over every fourth stitch. I'm now going to pick up and knit that fourth one and keep going. And my instructions were to pick up and knit 12 stitches along here. So I'm going to keep picking up and knitting to get to 12 stitches. Some on top of the needle, some below the needle. Keep going and get a count on them. There's the last one. And then I place a marker to separate the shoulder stitches from the, the collar stitches. And then you're going to work across the collar stitches as your directions tell you. So they're usually going to say either knit two together there, purl two together there. To get rid of the selvage stitch that you're going to use to seam that collar to the back neck. 
and then you're going to keep working across these collar stitches in pattern and if you have your right sides facing out on both of them that what that's going to do is position this so that these two edge stitches usually either the edge stitch or the two edge stitches have some special treatment on the outer edge in this case i knitted those last two stitches on the right side row and then i slipped them on the wrong side row so they're out there where they should be and then this is the edge here that's going to get seamed so once you're done you're going to seam that close, but it's clipped for now. Keep going over here on the shoulder as your instructions tell you. So you have integrated your collar and you're going to finish that right shoulder. Here it is finished. You can see it's all incorporated the collar with the shoulder and the instructions have told me how many rows to do. So there it is finished. And again, because I like to knit the whole sweater on one long needle, you're going to be told to place these on hold. I just pass them over. I just slip them straight over to my right needle and hold them over there on the right needle. And then they're where they need to be when I need them again. But that way I don't have to transfer them back to something else. So I'm just going to pass them over to my right needle and just ignore them for now. Then if you've done a provisional cast on, you would knit your left little tab, like this one, you'd knit it out from there. But because I did just a regular cast on, I cast on and knitted the, prepped the left collar separately. I still follow the directions, but I'm going to have to do a little seam right there, which is fine. So there, it's gonna fit right across the back neck on the left side. So I'm gonna clip these again, right there where I'm gonna seam that later. And then that fits right to the left half of the, of the back neck. So now you can see where they all fit. And then the next step is to pick up the stitches on the left shoulder. And then you're going to integrate the stitches for the collar. So you'll work back and forth and integrate those stitches together. So I'll finish that and then I'll show you what this looks like. All right, so here it is. Finished the little left tab, integrated it into the left shoulder and front. And then this gives you a visual of what this is going to look like. So there's your neckline edge there and shoulders. And then the next section in the pattern is going to have you knit across the left front, join, pick up sleeve stitches, and then you'll knit across the back and continue around to the right. And you're all joined and the sweater grows from there down using your worksheet. And then when you're done, there's where you're going to seam. You're going to just do that little seam there. And if you didn't do a provisional cast on, you seam there as well. But hopefully that gives you a look at what it looks like. Uh, the Franca and Kiki, Lizzie, uh, Ava, they all use this same technique, different patterns. But this is how they'll look regardless. They all look the same. And hopefully that gives you a visual.